What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as France in the Victorian era start date of the extended timeline mod. We are currently, we're doing okay in our war. We're holding them off on numbers. We should actually win. I've just got to be a bit more cautious because we kind of took a bit of a beating when I was, we lost a whole army basically when I wasn't really paying attention. There's a lot of stuff going on around the world. I can't really keep up with it. I see Russia is just destroying these guys over here. They've got bigger issues, namely Qing, who... Oh, I haven't even looked at the great powers list. Qing aren't on here, so maybe they're, maybe they're not as overpowered as I thought. But Sweden declaring war on Benin. Right now, there's just a race for, like, Africa. I'm pretty sure, like, a scramble to take over all of Africa. I have two colonists, but I don't have any, like... I don't have any manpower. I can't send any army to reinforce. And a new king. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know who it was before, but we now have a von Habsburg. What have we done? What? No. Um, okay, your stability is low. Yes, I'm aware of this. I'm going to boost it. Boost it up to plus one because we're in a tough spot right now fighting this war. Belgium, do not get destroyed. I need your men to save me. King Louis the 19th. Is he a famous Louis? Is he like the last Louis? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. He's the 19th Louis. That's all we know, but he's a von Habsburg. What a disgusting, disgusting thing. Ferdinand, just been, oh my, okay, okay, I thought he had a ton of allies, but that is not allies, that is who he's improving relations with. No worries, oh, there's going to be a battle here. Belgium could end up in trouble. So uh, let's do what we got to do, create that, this will hopefully work. Let's go back them up, try and make sure we win this battle, because it could be a big, big influence on the outcome come on if we can wipe them like they wiped us like that would be huge and we didn't quite but we did a good job so I'll take it that's a big win they're down to 19,000 men now so yeah that's a huge win like I said once these wars are over I'm gonna try and win the one against um, Al like Al Algeria and Kablia um, we need to win that obviously because it would be a bit of an embarrassment if we didn't this siege is taking forever. Belgium, can you use peace deal? Like, now? Please, we need the money. Not really, but I'll have money. <laughs> um, yeah, I've not, we've been thrown into this war, so I've not really had a chance to do too much yet. The Ottomans just declared war on Shamar. We'll see how this goes. Uh, who's this? Except it. Modena became a vassal of Austria. That's not good. Tuscany, keep an eye on that. That's your job. Hey, Denmark, Brazil... Brazil, Prussia declared war on Hesse, and I think Brazil just declared war on the Netherlands. Is that what I read, or did you ally the Netherlands? No, you declared war on the Netherlands. Okay, that, that's going to help us over here, because their land is next to mine. That's all cool. Uh, Prussia obviously going to war. Um, okay, Denmark, do you want to be my friend? Yes, you do. Okay, we need these allies in Europe. We need as many as we can. Denmark joining Tuscany will be a good one. Maybe Bavaria would be interested. Let's improve relations with them. Because like we, we're not going to get one with another one of the great powers around us. Sort of Austria, Prussia. I don't know if Spain count. I feel like over time we could probably get Spain to be friends with us again. Um, but that's going to take some time. Bible translated. Catholicism loses desire. Prussia. That makes Prussia... These guys hate me. But it makes a lot of people like me. More people like me. It's better than more people like you, I think. Not sure. <laughs> Might be wrong there. Okay, you're about to get creamed again, so I'm going to have to come in and save you again. Belgium. But this siege is taking ridiculously long. I want to point that out. It's not my fault. Like, we've got a terrible... I want to re basically rebuild the whole army because it's set up so badly. Um, <laughs> and the game just brought me into these wars. Military access for Brazil. Of course you can have military access Brazil. No. No worries. No doubts. Like, I don't even think there's any cannons operated. There isn't on this siege. That would be why. There's 14,000 on this stack, so I'm going to go send them over to go help. That would be why it's taken so long. Sorry, my apologies. But either way, like, like I said, it was set up badly, and I've not really... I didn't want to mess with everything with a war being raged. Uh, there is peasants in Luxembourg. They're obviously not happy at being occupied by me, but I, we can't get rid of them. Spain just declared war on Morocco. Okay, well, I mean, that's good news. Spain are occupied. Hey, Portugal, do you want to be my friend? Okay, I'd need to improve relations with them too. Yeah, we just want as many allies as we can get right now, I think. I think that's the best way to go. Get as many of the small guys. There are so many wars breaking out. It's crazy. It's crazy how many wars there are breaking out. Either way, we're about to finish this siege. 
And we need to make sure they don't unsiege that. But what just happened? Oh, okay. The Luxembourgian separatists are ruining everything. It's fine. This is a bit of a mess. Um, Portugal has embraced some more stuff. It's still just going on. Constant embracing. What is this? Um, how did the Netherlands pull a 52 stat? I bet they had a ton of manpower, because they are now pretty much able to go man for man with us. Please peace out, Belgium. Like, I'm not joking around anymore. This is ridiculous. We're actually going to lose. <laughs> Plus, Luxembourg pulled a 7 stack out of nowhere. I don't know where that came from. No, hang on. You go here. Austria declared war on Württemberg. Okay. Okay, I may as well just merge these into one army. Wait, no. They are suffering attrition, which is annoying. I want to move them. Uh, the Netherlands are here. Like, we're going to get a crossing penalty if we attack this, aren't we? Yes. But they're going to unsiege it if we're not careful. I guess we have to try lure them out. That's what we got to do. Try to get around them. But I'm not sure that's going to happen for us, I'm afraid. Belgium needs to peace out. Like, this is getting ridiculous. I'm going to separate peace in a bit and just leave Belgium to die. Because this is ridiculous. I mean, I imagine if I separate peace, Belgium would automatically go for a peace deal. Uh, I'm going to see, what could I take? Could I take? This is just for me, right? So, could I make Luxembourg a French vassal on my own? Oh, I could. Oh. That's what I was looking for. And can I take all your money? Holy moly, Luxembourg. Oh, no, that was the Netherlands' money. I mean, I will take 600 ducats and Luxembourg as a vassal. You know what? Screw it. Belgium, I am not fighting this anymore. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, the Dutch just have, like, unlimited manpower, probably. I know. You know what my luck's like. I'm going to just retreat from this. Hopefully, Belgium will peace out with the Netherlands. They might not like me so much, but they ain't really got a choice. I'm France. And, I mean, I dealt with Lux I've got to deal with Luxembourg now for them. So, you know, it's not like I've got nothing to do. These are technically my peasants now. I mean, it took, a it took an ally away from the Netherlands, if in doubt. This, this could play out horribly. I think that's obviously jumping into a scenario like this. There's no plan. There's not a registered. I need to do this. Lose 800 ducats. Okay, let's do that. Thanks for all those extra ducats, game. I really came in. Please kill these. Belgium are not peacing out. They are brave. You're really brave, Belgium. All I can say. Luxembourg. <laughs> You've got to respect this. They are running straight over. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's why. <laughs> they probably wouldn't be running this quickly if it wasn't. For them but all being over here yeah both armies shouldn't be going to the same place thank you uh my navy needs to i imagine it will be safe to sail over here i'm sure sure algeria's navy is not going to wipe it out i mean could that be a fatal miscalculation who knows but they need to go over there the ottomans has influenced star four united states is at war with dulo i i definitely read that wrong but Oh, oh, they're just killing natives, and Mexico's colonized most of California, so a US-Mexican war would be big. I would be called into it. I don't want to think about that right now. See, I think the, the UK still own Newfoundland. Yeah, they do. Okay, so Canada, basically. The US might help them get their independence, or they might just invade them. Like, that's... It's, it's one of two ways. But either way, Luxembourg is now on my team for this war with Kablia and Algeria, which I'm kind of losing pretty badly. But um, we're going to fix that now. We're going to drive them out here, win some battles, go unoccupy my land, and then we'll see what happens next. See what happens next. Belgium military access. Are you still at war, Belgium? Like, you're going to be losing soon. Like, why are you not peacing out? I don't see a way where you win this. They have so many more men than you. It's crazy. I gain 800 manpower. I need 40,000 to reinforce my armies on top of even more. Okay, 20 stack. It's time for you to have a general. Why can I not give you a general? Oh. Go over here. <laughs> okay, we hopefully we'll win this battle. I mean, I doubt we'd lose it. And yep, we did win it. And there we go. New leader. Let's get another general. Please be a good one. Oh, one star. Okay. Well, how many transports do we have? We can transport 31. So I'm going to just do this the simple way. And click there. And oh, we do need to... Un we'll go and... We'll do Corsica... No, Corsica, Sardinia, no, one of them. I think Corsica is the small one. I mean, it says Corse on it, so I would imagine it is the small one. Yeah, we'll do that afterwards with the 20 stack or whatever. But yeah, first, sending a 30 stack to Africa is not the best idea. I feel there'll be a lot of attrition involved in this, but... Oh well. It's going to be good. Embracing the Enlightenment. 
Good for you guys. And we have landed. It is time. And I think I'm probably going to take a lot of this land. Because, you know, why not? Who doesn't want a lot of this land down here for myself? Okay, this is not looking good for them. We're starting to lower that war score. Okay, there's another 10 stack arriving, which is good news. Hopefully our legitimacy is at 20. Why is that then? That That's... It's out of 100, isn't it? Like, that's really bad. <laughs> Don't know what to say, really. That That is awful. I mean, it's going up, but that is really, really bad. I That's that's like, I think that's game-endingly bad. I might be wrong, but this could be bad. I'll keep an eye on that. Why are you not going anywhere? Speed 4. Let's get it up a bit. It's only Algeria. I'm sure we got this in the bag. Also, Kablia. Oh, we need to be going after these green guys, too. What you, no wonder it didn't want me to do it. Stop, stay here, siege this. Okay, we're making good progress. Oh, royal marriage from Denmark. That might, nope, that lowered the legitimacy even more. What is going on? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't care at this point. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, you guys get over there. You can go and un unoccupy that. 35% here, that's good. This is good. Britain is influencing, that's an Indian nation. Come on, yeah, as soon as this war's over, we're, like, we're just going to have to rest for quite a while. Get that manpower back up, and we get to, you know, do my favourite thing a little bit. Just spectate what's going on around me, and hope I don't get invaded as well. Minus 3%, how are we not up to 100% right now? Well, once this fort is done, we'll really start to change the course here, and I think Spain might be... I think Spain are just at war in Morocco, but... Let me check. Yeah, these guys aren't at war with Spain. Songhai. Okay, so many wars breaking out everywhere. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay, that, that was unseaged. Now let's go siege this. I think we have, like, the numbers advantage. 43,000 to 12. Yeah, okay. I mean, they're not all in Africa, but still. Uh, you guys can just retreat to Paris, please. Denmark. Everyone is just invading Africa. What is going on? How is this? Does anyone actually have land in Africa? Or are they just doing... No, there's Dutch, American, Swedish, Danish. Oh my goodness. Colonialism. The scramble for Africa. Okay, I, I need to get involved. I'm going to go for North Africa, but you know. <laughs> I need to get involved in this. Although Naples is already here, so I'm going to probably miss out a little bit here. Um, we're going to see though. Invest United States is just declaring war on everyone. They're not even going after the American natives. They're literally just going after African natives. Kablia, yeah, you'll give me war reps, that's fine. Alright, oh, that ended the war. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to I wanted to do something different without you know what, whatever. I need I need I need my mad power back. So let's end this war. They they're gonna walk. That's nice. Personal union on monarch death. Yeah, I am aware of that now that you've told me. But I can't really do much about it, because every time I have a royal marriage, Ottomans, Britain, and Prussia. Okay. We could then maybe flip it around with Austria. Um, they could definitely be relations improved over there. Okay, but now, yeah, we need a new... How old are you, Louis? You're 23. We shouldn't be worried. He's not going to die soon. Really hope not. <laughs> It'd be nice if he didn't. Luckily, I said we might end up in a war with the US because of Mexico, if that was to happen. At least we have Bra Maybe Brazil get involved. That's actually unlikely the more I think about it. But still, let's lower that unrest. Give them some autonomy. It's not the end of the world. Giving away a bit of autonomy. But there we go. We finally got the job done. Belgium's probably going to die, which means we'll have a terrifying Netherlands to the north of us. But that'll be all right. Okay, let me just find a province I can stick a... Where is my army? Oh, yeah, they're walking through Spain for some reason. I don't know why they chose to go this way. Or why these guys haven't started going yet. Can you go over there? Yes, we can use the boats for them. That's good. I don't know why the other... The other ones were just closer. Yeah, they can walk. That's cool. If they want a war royal marriage offer from Belgium, yes. Come on, man. Louis, you're a Habsburg. If, if in doubt, just find your cousin or something. I'm sure it'll, sure it'll make, it'll make do for you. I'm sure. I mean, anyone will probably make do for you. I don't get why you need to have a royal marriage, particularly. Anyone would do for King Louis, the Habsburg. Blackfoot has declared war on Shoshone. Interesting. Um, can this province actually support 81 supply limit? Yes, it can. Russia has declared war on Bukhara. Cool. I want to have a look at how things are going. The Ottomans are 
back to conquering again. Japan's here. That's pretty cool. Um, Russia is doing well. What are you up to? It's 1840. Okay, I don't even know when we're going to play up to either. I didn't think of that either. But um, it's usually a set date when I play these things. Although normally I die very early when I play in the extended time mod. mod. I think I've done it twice and I've died five episodes and three episodes. Both both times in South America. No, we did Venezuela. We, we did Venezuela and we died in the modern day mod. Or maybe it was the World War 1936 like start maybe of EU4. And then I think that was the only time I... Oh no, I did USA modern day and I got bored. Belgium joins the Republic. That's not great. Okay, well the Netherlands is a new threat but that doesn't bother me too much because they're not allied to Prussia and they border Prussia. So that might lead to conflict. Sadly we now border Prussia. Let's improve relations with Luxembourg. I cannot improve relations with them because we're improving relations with other people. Uh, first thing, Bavaria, do you want to be an ally? No, I have no... Okay, hang on. They wouldn't accept anyway, why not? Negative R, they are... Ah, oh, they're rivaled with Denmark. Okay, well we'll stop improving with them. That's not going to work. Maybe we just switch it and improve with the Netherlands. It's not the end of the world. I think they're, they don't like Denmark either though. Maybe Denmark was a mistake, but oh well. Maybe just go for more of Scandinavia. Sweden, do you guys not like Denmark? Allied with Oldenburg. I think Norway is owned by Sweden. Maybe we could support Norway's independence. But yeah, for right now, we just need to let our military recover. It is very low. I actually need to divide it up, but what we have into better... Into... I'm just thinking, what do I need? The world has decided not to enter entertain Spain's claim to greatness. That sucks for you, Spain. Mexico is above you. But that is going to be it, guys. As always, this is going to be a crazy game. I can already sense it, even if I don't make it that far. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.